What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you the Cydia alternative called iMods. Now, there's been quite a bit of discussion of whether or not iMods is something that can actually replace Cydia. Cydia is something that's been around for a long time, everybody's familiar with it, and they know how to use it. Even with its shortcomings, it's something that we all know and love when it comes to jailbreaking. Now, iMods is something that's going to really change the way that you download, search for, and install tweaks. You can see right here that we have a new application called iMods right here. So if I go ahead and tap on that, you'll notice that we have a login. So first you're gonna have to register, which I've already done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and type in my email right here, and then we'll go ahead and type in my password. And then once you've typed that in, just go ahead and tap done and log in. So this is what the beta looks like. Now this isn't necessarily what the finished product is going to look like. Of course, there's gonna be some UI changes in terms of font in terms of what uh, scrolling through right here. This is basically all just filler. As you can see, we can scroll through. And you'll notice that we have two tabs right here. One being this little paintbrush, which is going to be obviously themes as well as visual tweaks. And then right over here is basically going to be everything else. So this is where you're gonna get your productivity tweaks or business tweaks or anything like that. Basically anything that's not a theme or a visual tweak then it's going to be right over here now this is just the featured page so this is something similar to what you would see on the app store you see something featured now Cydia does have a featured uh, tweaks list right when you open up Cydia but it's rarely updated hardly ever uh, this supposedly is going to be updated every two weeks so that's something to really look forward to and you can actually get a idea of what's been out there, what's doing well, what everybody likes, what everybody downloads, and it's gonna be right there featured and you're gonna be able to scroll right through it. Now, you'll notice two things. You'll notice that we have our profile right up here. We also have a search button. And right down here, we have three other options or three tabs. So this left one right here is the one we're in right now, which is called featured. And then right here, we're gonna see the top charts. So you can see that we can tap on top free tweaks, we can tap on top paid tweaks, or even just new items. Now if we tap on one of these, we don't have very many packages in the beta right now. All we have is three separate packages. So this is a free theme as you can see right here. So if we tap on top free, then this is gonna show all the top free applications, themes, everything like that. If we tap on top paid, obviously that's going to show the top paid. And you can see we don't have anything right here because we don't have any paid packages in the beta right now. We can also tap on new items, and this is going to show all the new items. So that's really self-explanatory, very intuitive how that works. Now, right up here in the top right-hand corner, you have a wish list. So you can actually add tweaks or themes or anything to your wish list and send that off to somebody, and you can actually be gifted a tweak or a theme or any type of package within iMod. So that's a huge plus. It's something that I've always wanted to do. Uh, I wanted to, you know, gift you guys some tweaks if I ever had a chance, you know, for whatever reason. It was always something that I wish I could do, but never really could unless I just like literally gave you guys like PayPal money or something, which I didn't really want to do. Now, also right over here, if we tap on the top left hand corner, you can see this brings up categories. So it's going to allow you to search by education tweaks, productivity tweaks, entertainment, games, business, aesthetics, functionality, or performance. So all you do is just tap on one of those and it's gonna go directly to that category. And then you can see all of the tweaks and packages right here that you can scroll through. Now you can obviously sort by date by tapping on that or you can sort by rating by tapping on that. Now if you wanna go back, you would just tap on this little icon right there. And of course there's gonna be some more uh, icons being redone for this page as well. Now to go back again, you would just tap on the categories button right there. And then if we go over here to the bottom right hand corner, you'll see that we have just an exclamation point. Now if we tap on that, this is going to be our updates. So here's where you can actually update all of your applications. So if you have an update for a specific package, it's gonna show up right here. You can also uninstall, which is what this delete button is right there. And you can also uninstall the applications or the, the packages directly from the tweak screen like you can in uh, Cydia. So if you're looking up a tweak, Let's say you have barrel installed and you look up the tweak barrel, you can actually uninstall it from the tweak page, from the install page. Now, if we go back here, let's go back to featured and then let's go ahead and tap on our profile right here. So here you can see how many items are installed. So I don't have any items installed because this is obviously a beta. And you also have how many items you have on your wish list. And you can see those numbers right there. 
Now right here is where you can add your wallet. So if you tap on that, then you can see that we don't have anything uh, added right now, but if we tap on new, then you can add your card, your address, zip code, city, state, country, and then you can authorize that. Or we can just tap on PayPal right up here, and this is where you're gonna set up your PayPal, so you would enter your, your PayPal email, and this is what's going to be used to pay for packages. Now if we go back here by just tapping cancel, and then we can go back one more time, and then if we tap right here, you can actually change your avatar. So let's go ahead and tap on photo library here. And we're just going to use a picture of a coaster because that's all that I have right there. So we're going to tap choose. And if we tap on that, it should go ahead and load right up right there as you can see. So you can have your avatar right here and have an actual profile. And if you have any issues, then there's numerous ways to actually contact them, which is obviously chat with them. You can email with them or you can even call them if you're having issues, which is actually a pretty interesting uh, support feature right there. I'll be surprised to see how that works out for them. You also can see right down here, you can share iMods with the world. And if you tap on this, nothing happens, but I assume after the beta and the final release, you'll be able to tap on that and this is possible it'll send out on Twitter or something like that. Now right up here at the top right hand corner, if we tap on the little gear, Let's tap on that. You can see that you can log out right there as well. And the test downloads is just part of the beta. It's not part of the actual uh, application itself or the final release. But let's say that we wanted to actually download something. Well, let's go ahead and try that out. So if we tap on test and let's say we want to install this. So we just tap on that. And if we want the cool text that we usually get in Cydia, then you can see we can get it right here as well. Of course, this didn't finish with a successful install and that's just because this is a beta, but you can see right here that we can tap to dismiss. So if we tap on that, we can see how that works. Obviously, it's gonna have your detailed information right here. You can have screenshots, so if we tap on that, it'll show up screenshots. And if we just tap off of it, it's gonna go away. And then you also have a video preview, so if we tap on that and you have a video of your tweak, then you can see right here, this is obviously being Rickrolled, so I don't wanna check that out. You also have more by this dev, so if we tap on that, then it's gonna show other tweaks that are developed by that same developer. Now if we go over here, you can see that we actually have a rating system as well. So you can tap on that and actually rate the tweak. And this is what's going to drive the ratings for all the tweaks. So if you're looking for tweaks and you sort by rating, this is what's going to directly affect that list. Now if we go back here, let's go back and I actually don't have one. Let's go to these. Okay, yeah, you can see I haven't actually rated this one. So if we just tap, you just tap on the little stars and you can see thank you for your rating right there. Well now of course you're wondering, well if we install themes, are we gonna be installing them into Winterboard? Well the answer is no, there's actually gonna be a new theme installer for iMods called Anemone. Now I don't actually have the software for Anemone, but I do have the icon and what it looks like as you can see right here. And then when you open it up, you can see that everything is grouped by theme. So if you tap on a theme, it's obviously going to give you a pull down menu right there that you can tap on which part of that theme that you actually want to enable. So you can see right here under Solstice that we have the status bar, the lock screen, as well as app icons. And we only have the app icons enabled. So this, first of all, just looks a whole lot better than Winterboard just because it's not a long list of packages just strung together. This is a much cleaner and much more intuitive way of applying your theme. So you obviously have your enable and disable buttons right there. So if you wanna change your theme, then you can do so very easily just by tapping on those. And you'll notice that the three little iMod icons under each uh, title of the themes are actually going to be icons themselves directly from the theme. And those are gonna be swipeable. So you're gonna be able to swipe over to the left and see another three icons. Now, something else about iMods is that there's only one repo. So you're not gonna have to be adding specific repos for specific packages anymore. Everything's gonna be contained on one repo. So that means that it's gonna be easier for them to manage and they are not going to allow pirated tweaks uploaded to their repo. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Now, of course, a lot of this is going to look different like I mentioned earlier. So you can see right here, here is a preview of what it looks like now versus what it's going to look like in the final release as you can see right here. Now, after all that information, you're probably wondering, well, when is it going to be released? Well, while it did miss its fall launch date, they are expecting to launch iMods the second week of January. So it's not really that far out, only about a month left, and then we're gonna be able to test this out for ourselves. 
So I'm really excited to hear what you guys think about iMods, maybe your first impressions, and what do you think is going to be the outcome of iMods? Do you think it's going to take over Cydia? as the go-to jailbreak store? Or do you think Cydia is so well implanted in the jailbreak community that it's not going anywhere? I'm really excited to hear what your thoughts are about the entire situation and what you think will be the outcome of iMods. All right, guys, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you guys wanna see more videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.